Beagles have an incredible sense of smell, and they are well known for their hunting abilities. Apart from being scent hounds, they make excellent family and companion dogs. Training them could be a challenging task because they are easily distracted by their sharp sense of smell and often follow their noses. However, by using proper training techniques, you can make the best use of their abilities. Obedience training is the fundamental training process. This is the first thing a puppy needs to learn, and they use it while getting advanced training. Start the training process when she is around eight weeks old. The basic commands build a foundation for the future training process. According to the American Kennel Club, there are about five basic commands that every puppy needs to learn. These are come, heel, sit, stay, and down. You can find a detailed explanation of each command on the American Kennel Club's website. Besides these five basic commands, you could also teach them some advanced commands and tricks. The basic commands help you to better communicate with your puppy. Beagles can be trained to learn a variety of dog sports, such as tracking, agility, and rally. Because of their strong sense of smell, they excel at scent trails, and it's something they enjoy doing. A beagle puppy should be able to recognize her name and respond to that. This is often overlooked, and many people assume that puppies will learn it on their own over time. However, it may confuse them, because puppies may interpret their name as a command. This is the very first command your puppy needs to learn. It is one of the easiest commands to learn. It's very essential for beagles because of their jumping instinct. You can use this command to prevent your beagle from jumping on people. This command is very crucial for beagles. They are scent hounds and go wherever their noses lead them, and this command will keep them from wandering away. It is a very good idea to enroll your puppy in an obedience class. These classes teach them basic commands, as well as provide an opportunity to interact and socialize with other dogs. These classes help them become well-behaved adult dogs. You can enroll your puppy when she is 8 to 10 weeks old. The obedience classes last for a duration of 6 weeks. Some also offer advanced training like agility and tracking. You can find these classes at a local shelter or a dog club. The initial phase of training could be challenging for both of you. Be gentle with your puppy and don't overtrain her. Make the training an entertaining process for them, not a challenging one. Beagles are active dogs who love to play around, and you can make training a part of their playing session. The training process may take some time, depending not only on the puppy, but also the training methods applied by the owner. Don't always expect quick results. Sometimes puppies need more time and repetition to understand a command. Food is a big motivator for puppies and it will help you a lot in the training process. The best time to start training your puppy is the day you bring her home. The training process should start from day one, as the puppy is already in the learning and developing phase. The earlier you start, the easier it will be for them to learn. However, don't start the training process unless she is at least eight weeks old. This is the first step in the potty training process. Prepare an outdoor spot for elimination. This could be a spot in your garden or backyard. Make sure it is easily accessible. It should be a quiet and out-of-the-way location where the puppy won't be disturbed while doing her business. The spot should be suitable for all weathers and properly covered from the sun, rain, and snow. Don't change the spot unless very necessary. Having a potty schedule is convenient for you and your puppy. Take them to the designated spot at the same time every day, and they will soon develop a consistent schedule. A regular meal schedule is crucial for establishing a consistent potty routine. Give them meals at specific times of the day, and you can somehow predict when they need to go to the bathroom. You should expect to take them outdoors at certain times of the day. First thing in the morning, after an exercise or playing session, 15 minutes after a meal, after a nap, before you leave them alone in the house, before going to bed. Most of the time, you can tell when your puppy is ready for elimination by reading her body language. A puppy will give you some obvious signs whenever she has an urge for elimination. These signs could be some body gestures or certain actions. If your puppy is sniffing the floor or circling around, that means she's finding an old spot for elimination. Some of the other signs are whining or barking, restlessness and squatting, staring at you and the door. 
Potty pads are a temporary solution, and in the long run, you would want to have an outdoor space for elimination. It could work for young puppies, but it's not a good option for adult dogs. Beagles are not couch potato dogs. They are active and outgoing, and the best option is to have an outdoor spot for elimination. However, the potty pads may be useful in certain conditions, like if it is cold outside or if you live in an apartment. Potty accidents are inevitable in the first few weeks of the training process. It's because of two major issues. First, puppies need some time to get used to the designated potty spot. Second, they need time to get control of their bladders. So sometimes potty accidents might happen because of their inability to control their bladders. So in the beginning, be mentally prepared for potty accidents and deal with them carefully. When you see your puppy eliminating inside, firmly say no. Disrupt the process and take her to the designated potty spot. Potty accidents are a part of the training process and you don't need to punish or scold your puppy as that is cruel and counterproductive. It is recommended to clean the spot thoroughly and make sure no trace of smell is left. Beagles are scent hounds and finding the old potty spot is not a problem for them. If a puppy finds the old spot, she thinks it is okay to use the same spot again. Regular cleaner will remove the stain, but not the odor and enzymes. It is recommended to use an enzyme-based cleaner. That helps you get rid of odor and enzymes. Use a specific command for the bathroom. These Q words are very helpful for both of you. Keep it short, simple, and clear. The command could be something like, go potty, do business, do bathroom, etc. A crate can be used as a tool for potty training a beagle. Dogs consider the crate as a den, and they love to keep their den clean, which means if they are placed in a crate, they will not eliminate inside the crate and will prefer to go outside to the designated spot. It is an effective tool for potty training, and it teaches your puppy that she has to eliminate only in the designated area. According to the American Kennel Club, Dogs can control their bladders for the number of hours corresponding to their age in months up to about nine months to a year. In simple words, that means if your puppy is three months old, she can be expected to hold it for about three hours. However, these times could differ depending upon an individual puppy. Keep in mind that these are the maximum time durations, and it is recommended that you take them to the bathroom before that time. Puppies have small bladders and should not be forced to hold their bladders for a long period of time as that could cause bladder infections. Puppies have an undeveloped digestive system and a loose control over their bladders, which means they need to be taken outdoors more than adult dogs. Potty training is the hardest part of the whole training process. It could take up to six months to fully potty train a beagle. However, the time duration could vary depending upon the individual dog, training techniques, and the owner's commitment. It is not an easy task for puppies to learn. It is a big challenge for both the owner and the puppy, and for sure, it is the most rewarding one and is totally worth the effort to have a fully potty trained beagle. The American Kennel Club considers crates as a potty training tool. That makes life easier. It is a good idea to make your dog accustomed to a crate for many reasons. According to AKC, crate training is not imprisoning your dog, but it creates a safe environment for your dog and provides them with a feeling of security. According to the Humane Society of the United States, crate training your puppy takes advantage of the dog's natural instincts to seek out a comfortable, quiet, and safe place. A crate may seem like a place for imprisoning your dog, but if used correctly and humanely, it could work as a safe haven for your dog. It works equally for puppies, adults, and senior dogs. Dogs are den animals, and they naturally seek out a den-like private space of their own. A crate works as their own bedroom. It works as a shelter and safe sanctuary for your puppy whenever she is alone, nervous, or insecure. According to AKC, crate ranks high as a potty training tool. Dogs love to keep their den clean, which means they will prefer to go outside for potty instead of eliminating inside the crate so it is an effective tool for potty training a puppy. It is also beneficial for the owner. A crate could be a place to leave your dog whenever you have to go outside for a short time. Beagles are mischievous dogs, and if left unsupervised, they could create a lot of mess inside the house. 
A crate makes it very easy to travel with your dog. A crate trained dog is easy to transport. You can even fly with them by putting them in an airline approved crate. If you want your puppy to live happily inside the crate, you need to make it a comfortable and inviting place for your puppy. Put his favorite treats and toys inside the crate. The most important thing is to have a warm and comfortable bedding inside the crate. Instead of using a towel or blanket, you should use a dog's bed, which is soft, non-allergenic, and easy to clean. It is made from non-chewable material. You could install a dog camera around the crate to keep an eye on your puppy while you're away. Provide them with some interactive toys to keep them entertained when they are alone in the crate. At night, cover the sides of the crate with a blanket. Once you have decorated the interior of the crate, it is time to lure your puppy inside the crate. Introducing the crate would be challenging in the beginning, but you can do this with praise and treats. Walk her over to the crate, talking in an encouraging voice. Puppies are food driven, and you can lure her inside by laying out a trail of treats leading to the crate. When she enters inside, praise her by giving her more treats. Don't close the door immediately. Instead, give her enough time to explore the crate and become familiar with it. Once she becomes comfortable inside, close the door, but remain around where she can still see you. You can leave after a while and your puppy may whine or bark to get your attention, but you don't have to respond. Barking, whining, or howling is a normal reaction of beagle puppies for leaving them alone in the crate, and you will have to ignore that. Otherwise, your puppy will learn that whining is a way to get out of the crate. During the first few attempts, it will be hard and challenging to put your puppy inside the crate. Your first priority should be to make the crate a desirable place. Give them free access to the crate. Feed them inside the crate. You can even play different games with them that involve the crate. All of these tactics will help you in building a positive image of the crate in their minds, and they will naturally associate the crate with an acceptable place. Going inside the crate and staying there is a gradual process for puppies. In the beginning, leave them in the crate for a short period of time and then gradually increase the time period. Do not push your puppy inside the crate as that could scare her and she will be reluctant to go inside the crate. Keep in mind that if you were able to build a positive image of the crate in the puppy's mind, she will go there voluntarily and the training process will go smoothly. Placing the crate at the right spot matters a lot. Sometimes a puppy does not hate the crate, but the area in which it is placed. Beagles are social dogs and they want to be around people. Place the crate at a spot where a dog could feel the vibe of a household. It could be a living room, home office, or an area close to the kitchen. At night, shift the crate to your bedroom. A puppy should not feel isolated or lonely, otherwise she will hate the crate. The crate placing area should be shielded from direct sunlight and other weather conditions. Do not put the crate in the dark and isolated places, like the basement or backyard. However, it should not be placed in such a busy area where there is constant noise and movement. The beagle needs some quiet time to take a nap and relax. It is very helpful if you associate the action with a command. The command could be something like crate, kennel, etc. You can use separate words for going inside and outside of the crate, like go inside and out. Use short, simple, and clear words. Select a crate that is the right size for your beagle. It should be neither too small nor too big. The general rule of thumb is that a crate should be large enough for a puppy to stand up, turn around, and lie down comfortably. However, it should not be so large that they can urinate in one corner of it and sleep in the other. You will need a crate that is appropriate for the current size of your puppy as well as when she is fully grown. The best practical option is to buy a crate that comes with dividers. Puppies grow rapidly during the first few months, and as your puppy grows, you can adjust the size of the crate according to the size of your puppy. Beagle is a medium-sized breed that can grow to a maximum height of 15 inches. Buy a crate that is designed for medium-sized dogs. Crates come in a variety of sizes and shapes. The overall best choice is the wire-type crate. It has a good ventilation system and also comes with dividers. It is durable, portable, and easily washable. The material is not chewable. Wooden crate types are often used to match with home furniture. However, they are often chewable. 
plastic, and fabric crates are often used for transporting a dog. They are lightweight and portable. They are even approved by the airlines for carrying a dog. However, they are not the best choice for home usage because of their cleaning difficulty and chewable material. According to the Humane Society of the United States, puppies under six months of age should not stay in a crate for more than three or four hours at a time. An eight to 10 week old puppy could be left in a crate for a maximum of 30 to 60 minutes. Beagles are high energy dogs and they need a good amount of exercise and playtime. Over crating these active dogs is certainly cruel and it should be avoided at all costs. A crate is like a bedroom for them and they retreat back to their bedroom only for a certain time. Crating them for a long period of time would have disastrous effects on their health. They will soon develop separation anxiety and behavioral problems. Dogs need physical and mental stimulation, which cannot be done in a crate. If you are going away for a long time, make some other arrangement for your dog, like hiring a dog walker or taking them to a daycare center. Make sure that your dog does not view the crate as a place of punishment. It is supposed to be a safe and cozy place for them, not a place of confinement. It is a tool for teaching desired behaviors to dogs, and it must be used correctly and humanely. Most beagles are accepting of the crate if it is made an appealing and comfortable place for them. Crate training a beagle can take up to six months. However, it could take less than six months for some beagles, and it depends upon their temperament and the owner's dedication to the process. With proper training, they would be able to adjust themselves to the crate. Training a beagle is a challenging task, and they are harder to train than other dogs. It's only because of their two distinct properties, sense of smell and independent nature. Beagles have a sharp sense of smell, which makes them an ideal scent hound, but it also explains why they are easily distracted. Due to their keen sense of smell, they follow new smells obsessively. This is a huge distraction for them because they go wherever their nose leads them instead of listening to their owner. Because they are scent hounds, they rely heavily on their sense of smell rather than listening to the owner's commands. Beagles are notorious for their independent nature, which makes their training a challenging task. They are more independent than other dogs, which makes it relatively hard to control them and focus them on the training process. An ideal training session is supposed to be short, focused, and entertaining for your puppy. Keep the training session short, as long sessions are boring for puppies. Beagles are notorious for having short attention spans because their keen sense of smell often takes their mind somewhere else. An interactive session of five to 10 minutes is enough for them. Teach only one command in a session, otherwise your puppy might confuse the commands. Positive reinforcement in the form of praise and treats is very helpful in the training process. Food is a big motivator for beagles, and you can use it to lure them towards desired actions. Because of their strong sense of smell, beagles could smell food from a long distance, which makes them excited. Along with food, you need to use verbal praise and affection. This reward-based training has proven to be very effective. Scolding or physical punishment is cruel, pointless, and counterproductive. It could lead them to aggressive behavior. Socialization is very crucial for training a dog. It helps them in becoming a confident and well-behaved dog. Beagles are very social dogs who can live with other dogs and pets. Expose them to new people, places, and animals. Enrolling your puppy in an obedience class is a great way to socialize him with other dogs. Socialization begins around the age of eight weeks. The prime time for socialization of a puppy is two to four months of age. Patience and consistency are the two aspects of the training process that are related to the owner and not the dog. Training is a steady process for dogs, and sometimes they need more time and repetitions to learn a behavior. Consistency is the key to a successful training process. Don't give up quickly. Keep training, and you will be surprised with the results.